the best in most country, Big Frog 104. Here we go. Day two. Who else is on the Frog Fest stage June 13th at the Herkimer County Fairgrounds? Tadpole and I join in with Frog Fest favorites, Trailer Choir. See, we don't always get to talk to old Tadpole, but I'm glad we get to talk to Tadpole today. You guys like Pollywog better. How in the heck are you guys? We love you and miss you. Nobody said holla yet. We don't feel like we're together. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Trailer Choir. I know. Holla. Hello. When we saw y'all last year, we had just been writing and had a few demos, but we're going to have the first uh, half of this record done. Looking forward to getting you as much of our new music for y'all to go through and let you kind of decide, hey, this really stinks or this is really good. <laughs> well, so is put the hell in the yeah or something along that line in there? Yeah, we put the hell in the, in the yeah, the blue in the collar. Last year it was She's Coming In Hot. What's this year's debut? We're not 100% sure. Last year, you know, we just had recorded She's Coming In Hot. We were kind of on our own. We signed a new record deal with a company called Average Joe, who you may know the Lax or Colt Ford. That's their label. Yeah. So we don't know exactly what will be next. Uh, congratulations are in order, by the way. You yeah. guys just picked up a big award. We actually just won Duo of the Year uh, in the National Universal Awards. And it's kind of cool because it's, it's completely fan-nominated and completely fan voted. Well, and didn't you guys set history by being the first country act in the D.C. Press Club or something? We were in Washington and it was in the uh, National Press Room. You guys been over there at all? No. I mean, I see you guys are all over the country and you guys are like on a world tour. You guys were just in like Honolulu or something. I thought I saw you somewhere. <laughs> but yeah, we were over there in D.C. and it's so cool because presidents have spoken in there and we played at a piano that Truman played yeah. at. And just it was so actually much. his piano that he would play when he'd come up to that room. Um, but they've had Elton John and Paul McCartney, they've had like some of the biggest entertainers of all time to come in there and entertain the presidents and other people. And, you know, we got to be the very first country act in there, so it was really cool. So it wasn't Honolulu you saw us at. It was Panama City Beach, Florida, playing on the Jack Nicholas course as somebody beat someone else all over that golf course. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's why I just skipped past oh. that subject, Butter. I'll tell you, Butter's a golfer. Bring it on. I'll tell you what, I can't wait. Maybe, I know y'all are crazy busy, but maybe we might be able to get to go round you round in. I'll bring Vinny along as my ringer, man. If he's going to hit the ball straight. He has to hit the ball so far left to get it in the middle of fairway. It's great. With the curve and everything, it goes about 450 yards, but it only lands about 200 yards out. Vinny, anyway, you might be more destined for our idiot golf scramble where you get to play with anything but golf clubs. Anytime you put Vinny and idiot together, it just makes sense. He's a idiot. Your son, Butter, holy cow, is he ever getting huge. We're actually at the Y with him right now. He's playing in Bouncy House. Three years ago, I was chugging bottles of Crown and Jack Daniels. Now I'm at Bouncy House. <laughs> I used to raise hell and uh, raising cane to raising babies. You know, my wife put on all this weight, you know, for the babies. You know, like a true supportive husband, I put on 10 pounds to kind of support her. <laughs> and so, uh, You're such a good to, guy, man. We're about to have our second baby here in the next week or two, so. So I decided it's time for me to take off the baby weight now because, you know, she's going to be losing it. Do you know if it's there a boy or a girl? It's a boy. Well, congrats. I did notice that your son is taking after you playing the drums. Could you pick a louder instrument for him to start playing? <laughs> Well, you know, it's kind of funny. We do the Hollowville show every Wednesday, and when I get there, if I bring him in for about 10 or 15 minutes, he's like a little mini celebrity in there. He comes in, and we're all getting set up, and so he kind of does the sound check for the drums. Our drummer, Ryan's real cool, and he puts him on his lap, but, uh, you know, the same size. Fortunately, wow. he's, got about, he's got about as much rhythm as Vinny does right now. Oh, <laughs> the shots keep hey, coming. Uh, let's, just, let's just clarify something. I, I don't have rhythm on the drums, but I got rhythm when it comes to dance. That's true. Every girl on the place every single time that tug comes in he's the number one main attraction you know i like to think i'm the overall attraction but when tug walks in it's all just pushed to the side won't be long you guys will be opening for him <laughs> i want to follow that kid we are so looking forward to seeing you guys back i think uh it's just frog fest and trailer choir it just goes hand in hand it does we're basically the house band y'all have been so good to us we love y'all as friends and great job on what y'all do thank you so much